Hi and welcome to the Deep Glow version 1.1 update video. We have three new features to demonstrate here and each one was submitted by a user so thank you for submitting your suggestions to make Deep Glow a better plugin. As you may know, Deep Glow replaced Real Glow on the AE Scripts store. Some users were saying that they preferred the blending of Real Glow as opposed to Deep Glow. So what we've done is gone and implemented an option called Smooth Blending and if you turn that on that's going to mimic the same blending that Real Glow has. And I have an example here, Real Glow, turn that on, you can see pretty much the same result here. It definitely gives the final result a smoother look. Uh, it, whether you prefer that is up to you, but now we have that as a feature. The next feature we have is Tint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off this gradient ramp. And what this feature allows you to do is if your text or whatever you're glowing has no color, you can then introduce color. We have some different modes here. We have Overlay. And this is a much brighter sort of neon saber look, lightsaber. I'll just turn down the exposure as that's a bit too bright. And the other mode we have is soft light, which is similar, but it gives a more desaturated look. The last feature that we have is dither. And this was included in version 1.0, but you weren't able to customize it in any way. It was just locked to fixed settings. So essentially the issue here is um, higher radii are prone to more color banding. And I'll increase the brightness here so that we can see that and I'll turn off the dither. If we zoom in, we can see here that we have some color banding, which is probably made worse by the screen capture software, but I can definitely see that on my screen. Essentially what the dithering is gonna do is smooth that out, as we can see. And now you have the option to enable that or not, and to fine tune it the amount that you want based on this amount percentage. You can also choose whether you want monochromatic dither or color dither. So those are the new features for Deep Glow version 1.1. Thank you to everyone who submitted their ideas. And uh, we have some more exciting features planned in the future. And feel free if you guys have a suggestion to send in your submission because you guys are the ones using it. So you know how to make it better. And hopefully we'll be able to implement those as well. 